you might be wondering, how do I know what IDR plan that I'm actually using for income-based repayment for my student loans? What a great question. And that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. I'm Travis with studentloanplanner.com and I have to say that one of the reasons why we have thousands of people use us for consulting services and making their own custom plans is because there's so many income-based repayment plans. Currently, there's four major ones. Income contingent repayment, income based repayment, pay as you earn, and revised pay as you earn. Each of these plans has its own acronym too. And these plans have different important features that you should know about. For example, revised pay as you earn gives you interest subsidies. Whereas pay as you earn has a shorter period of forgiveness for borrowers with graduate degrees. Furthermore, programs like ICR Income contingent repayment are only available, in some cases they're the only option for parent plus borrowers, whereas income based repayment is one of the oldest broad income driven repayment plans that exist. So it's important to note which plan that you're on. Now to figure this out, there's actually luckily a fairly simple way to do it. You need to go to studentaid.gov and once you've logged into your file, you can go at where your name is and sort of hover over in that direction and you'll see something that shows my data. And you'll see something that says like my data download. And if you click on that, what you're gonna find is your file called your NSLDS file. Now this is a very important file and in this is going to have the entire lifetime history of your student loans. It is a ugly looking text file. It's not super easy to read, but what you can do is simply search the file for the words Income contingent repayment, income based repayment, revised pay as you earn or pay as you earn. If you are on one of these programs, it will absolutely state that in this text file. So that's the best way, in my opinion, to figure out how what, what plan you're definitely on. There's some alternative ways that are a little bit easier. For example, you can go to your student loan servicer website and you can try to see if your income driven plan is listed there. I've certainly seen good luck with people that have loans at Great Lakes servicing, but for other servicers, they don't make it quite as clear which repayment plan you're actually on. So to sign up for an income-driven repayment plan, you need to go to studentaid.gov, and then you can hover over Manage Loans, and you'll see a spot to apply for an income-based repayment plan, and then you'll be able to sign up for the one that you want if you specifically ask for a, a specific plan by name rather than just checking the box, giving the plan with the lowest payment. A lot of times, checking that box actually weirdly puts you into the plan that's not the best for you. So you need to be very aware of this, you need to be aware of what plan you're on and what the implications of that plan are, especially if you're married because you might be including your spouse's income in the payment. So if you want help figuring this out, then I would suggest getting a personalized custom consult from one of our student loan planners. And you can do that by going to studentloanplanner.com slash help to learn more. So thank you so much. I hope you hang out on the channel and learn more about income-based repayment and how it can help fix you and your financial situation from student loans. Thanks for watching.